Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be removing this lemongrass plant so I can plant something else there. So I'll basically be taking all of it out. I'll be showing you that. How I, I have to rinse off the hydroton so I can reuse it. It's going to be quite a task because those roots are going to be in there. So I'll show you all those roots. I'll probably move a piece over to somewhere just in that corner so it's out of the way. But otherwise, that is what I'll be doing today is removing this giant bundle of lemongrass plants. Otherwise, what you can see growing in my greenhouse, I have all those over there. I did remove all that lettuce since we harvested it, so I need to plant something else there. I have all this basil over here. And I got some collard greens. We got our taro, the moringa, the longevity spinach, sorrel, and other things. That's what's growing in the greenhouse at the moment. But otherwise, as I mentioned, that's what I'll be doing right now. There's so many roots down there and all of these plants are probably just bundled up and connected to each other. That's gonna be tough to get out. Just look at that root ball. Here's one of the plants I took out, the lemongrass plants. And here's what roots I could get out, which is a good amount. It's a big plant. So here you can see I got the one bundle out, which was pretty tough with all those roots in there. So I basically had to cut around it with a scissor, just jabbed it in there, pull it out. Lemongrass is not soft, it is sharp. So it does cut you up while you're working with it. It's not a soft kind of grass or one of those sharp ones. Otherwise the piece I have out right now, it is, we'll hear some of the stuff. right here which is massive that's like four or five feet right there so right now i gotta rinse all this hydroton off was that i want to reuse since it's expensive which will take a little bit but gotta do what you gotta do so how the roots look So here we have that lemongrass bundle I worked on. That was quite a mission. It took more than an hour, I believe. But I got it all in there in a five gallon bucket. Well, maybe four gallon, whatever it is. It's a little shallower. You can see how massive that is. So here you can see I still have a massive part of the lemongrass in here. I took out the one part of it, which was a big amount, which you just saw took me about 40 minutes to take it out which took some time the plant is sharp so it did scratch my arms up a little but it's all good I will take the other one out later on but you were able to see the roots of the one I just took out which was a big mess so these are some of the roots from the lemongrass that I just pulled out which is pretty crazy it almost feels like straw kind of material very dry well it's dry now since it's been sitting out for a little bit since this morning but it didn't hold water that much when I sprayed it as well so check out the crazy root ball on this lemongrass that I just barely pulled out and see all that it's crazy big lemongrass plant with all the roots here Probably some is decomposing in there as well. What I'm gonna do now is just try to rinse it off in here with some water, which will kill some beneficial bacteria, but it's whatever, there's plenty in the system. So here's where that lemongrass was. It looks quite empty in the greenhouse now without it. Plus I did harvest all the cabbage that was over there and did cut a bunch of the basil down 
I have one small piece here, so hopefully this guy does well, since I don't really need much of it, but I don't want to get rid of it since I've been growing it for a long time. Had it for multiple years from when I got it some time ago. But you can see that's empty. I did just put, plant some parsley in there as well, two different kinds. So hopefully those start. And then I have that lemongrass out here, which I will try to sell. See if I can sell it. Still got to get some of the hydroton off and stick it in the aquaponic system since I don't want to waste that. But there's that lemongrass, which I just took out of there, which you can see is a big difference. But otherwise, what I have planted now, just got basil, nothing in there, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to plant some seeds for that. Probably some more cabbages. And then I got stuff here, not much. And then I got this grow bit over here. So I got to plant some more stuff. Well, that about sums up this video. I've just shown you the lemongrass that I pulled out of my aquaponic system, which was quite big. It took a minute to pull it out of there. Well, both pieces. I pulled like the one some uh, a few weeks ago, and then I pulled this one just now, which was quite tough just to pull it out into the roots. Showed you the roots in there. That root ball was just bounded to everything, but it was able to get it out. I did also rinse it off, majority of it in the aquaponic system because I wasn't wasting water. So basically, as you saw in the video, I was rinsing off some of the roots in there and I needed to add water in the aquaponic system anyway since my sump tank was level was a little low. So by doing that, I didn't waste any water and I was able to rinse off the roots at the same time. I did add water conditioner and stuff like that, which helped with making the water safe for the fish. I probably did kill bacteria in there just since I was using uh, the chlor or normal water which had chlorine in it and stuff like that but otherwise that was a good idea that I thought of just to rinse it out in there. I still have to rinse some more out of the actual plant which is over there but otherwise that's pretty much what it is for this video just showing you that lemongrass so if you do have any questions or suggestions for future videos or anything of the sort just leave them in the comments below i'll get to those and try to adjust those otherwise thank you for watching